Hey y'all, I'm going to see John Green. I'm, we I'm wearing my Tifio shirt and I'm super excited. Yay! Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to meet him because he probably already signed my book that I will be getting. But that's okay. And it's raining a little bit, but that's okay too because I'm meeting John Green. So, well, no, I'm not meeting John Green. I'm seeing John Green. But whatever. Um, yeah, more later. Bye. <laughs>
be, it could be a little more than that. I don't know for sure, but it's this week. And they were like, I don't know if we can come to your event. There's a lot of stressful wedding planning. So we just, but I think that, boy, they better be here. <laughs> I think they're here. Um, so Sarah and Louise, if you're here, could you just come up real quick? Just walk toward the front and we'll see you. Are they here? Congratulations. Did I tell the story okay? All right, great. Um, first off, cheers. <laughs> for you guys to share for the rest of the show. And then we got you a present. Uh, you actually know what it is, because we got it off your registry and you saw my name. <laughs> Science. So we had Dr. Turtleman, and now we have like science songs. It's an evening of books and science, which is not what it says on the poster. So I apologize to everyone who did not expect that, which is everyone. But I only apologize to people who are disappointed. Um, so I'm going to sing a song about a fish. There is a uh, fish in the deep sea. And it's uh, very difficult to live in the deep sea, and so when you have no uh, food, there aren't a lot of you around. Uh, that's sort of how ecology works. When there's more food, there's more organisms. And when there's very, very little food, then you don't, like, when it's time to, like, make the next generation of fish, you have to work really hard to find another member of your own species. And if that is hard enough for us here on, in a very crowded theater, uh, imagine how hard it is when you're the only fish within a cubic mile. So, uh, the deep sea anglerfish has figured out a solution to this problem, which is that it, um, when a male is born, like a female's just a normal fish, but when a male is born, it's just like a nose and some fins and testicles. And his entire mission in life, he doesn't even have a digestive system, so he cannot survive unless he sniffs out a female anglerfish, and if he finds her, he will bite her, and the enzyme, there was an enzyme in her skin that will dissolve his lips and then their circulatory systems will fuse together and he will be fed by her heart. We've all met this guy, right? <laughs> and you, so, uh, and slowly his body will just like senesce into her body and he'll just be a pair of nuts on her side and then when it's time to make the next generation of anglerfish, she releases her eggs into the water, releases a hormone into her blood which causes the testicles to uh, release sperm into the water, and they join together, and that is how the next generation of anglerfish is born. And that story is so beautiful, I wrote a song about it. Here it is. <laughs> yes, it's true that I once went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with strife. Yes, I've been burned, and I've been spurned, and through it all, my friends, I've learned. That love is not about whether you get stabbed, it's how slow the knife gets turned. But my friends, I found an animal who doesn't feel this pain And my life is so much better now that I can feel the same Cause you can't eat the night if you live your whole life without light You can't eat the dish if you've only ever eaten fish And you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known Yeah, the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy But it has no freaking idea what else to be the busy dwelling anglerfish never has to find a mate. They are always there together when it's time to procreate. See, one or not a young man bites a female on her side, and then slowly he becomes a sperm producing parasite. <laughs> and if we can say he lives at all, he lives until she dies, and until that day he literally never leaves her side. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not 
to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets numb. Oh, so much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't go. Oh, hey, now you're an all-star. Get the game on, go play. Oh, hey, now you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. And all that glitters is gold. And you're gonna feel the urge. Oh God, yeah. We all feel it. It's gonna be incredibly hard, but I will tell you, if we can do it, if we can have that moment of true togetherness, nothing that you have ever experienced will feel as good as that. Goes. I don't want to overpromise, but it's the best I've ever felt. With apologies to the birth of my children and the day of my marriage. We're gonna do this together, guys. We can do it. By the way, you can just be completely silent the whole time if you want. <laughs> that also works. When it began, I can't begin to know it. But that's every part of Was in the spring, the spring became a summer. I believed you come along. Here we go. Hands, touching hands, reaching out. It's coming, remember. Touching me, touching you.